In accepting governance of the Citadel Council, there came the promise of lucrative opportunities, economic stability, and a voice in the chorus that shapes the galaxy. But with these benefits was the explicit responsibility to abide by the accords of the Citadel Conventions and operate within the confines of galactic law. When faced with the security of operating within Citadel space or the freedom and independence of existing beyond it, most nations, corporations, or individuals choose one or the other. But there were some who walked the line, conducting forbidden research or development within independent systems, only to sell the benefits of such efforts across wider Citadel space. These were the grey worlds of the galaxy, and there were few as profitable, controversial, and mysterious as Novaria. A small, frozen, rocky world, Novaria was the second of four planets orbiting within the Pax system. It was considered barely habitable by most conventional definitions, making it a poor candidate for large-scale settlement. The majority of its hydrosphere was locked within massive glaciers, with only a scarce few sources of liquid water located around the equator. Enormous mountain chains and craters crisscross the planet's surface, further limiting the potential for colonization. The low desirability of the planet by interstellar governments, however, made it attractive to private investment. In the 2160s, roughly two dozen high-tech companies created the Novaria Development Corporation, a joint venture intended to claim Novaria and administer the planet under a private charter. Without any investment by a Citadel-aligned government, the colony was technically outside of Citadel space and beyond its jurisdiction. The Novaria Development Corporation took advantage of its unique legal status by giving free reign to the members of the joint venture to pursue whatever research they wished. Additionally, it began leasing out laboratories and other facilities to outside parties, which similarly intended to conduct experiments too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. The value of a scientific exclave existing outside of Citadel laws helped fund significant infrastructure, most notably Port Hanshan, the planet's capital and largest settlement. Carved deep into the peaks of towering mountains, Port Hanshan maintains all amenities typical of any city within Citadel space, albeit with much stricter security measures. Chief among the joint venture's concern is the threat that dissent, espionage, or outside interference might make Novaria's situation untenable. The settlement is officially closed to the public, with only specially permitted visitors given clearance to even land on the planet. It is only through special arrangement that agents of the Citadel's Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Organization are allowed to sidestep many of these restrictions. This is one of the few concessions the joint partners have made to the Citadel to give at least the appearance of responsible oversight. In addition to Port Hanshan, a network of remote research stations are located throughout the neighboring mountains. Designated Peaks 1 through 15, these laboratories are purposely isolated from both Port Hanshan and one another in the event of any disaster or containment failure. Fully equipped and well beyond even the standards set by the Citadel, the peaks can be rented by any of the joint partners or outside interests, provided the raw capital is there. Extensive weapon emplacements exist on the periphery of each peak. These, however, face towards the facilities and intended as another method of containing the leak of information or containing any type of catastrophic failure. Should even these measures fail, orbiting satellites can deploy antimatter warheads on any of these peak research facilities, annihilating them entirely. Incursions by the synthetic race known as the Geth and the human supremacist organization called Cerberus have shown that even Novaria is not beyond the reach of outside powers. In the wake of the Reaper War, precious little information has come to light as to the fate of the galaxy, and regardless of the outcome, it is likely that an easily overlooked world like Novaria was quickly forgotten. Perhaps, in the ruins of its laboratories, countless skeletons clutch at frozen computers, once brimming with forbidden knowledge. Or perhaps, beneath the peaks of Novaria's mountains, the extinction of galactic civilization was but a minor setback, and the research continues.
In Atlas, the Templin Institute investigates the most storied places from across alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards.